We're learning about a baker's secret today. Sharon McLeod is here from Mary McLeod's Shortbread with something new to show us. And this is going to be delicious. I just, I can sense it from what's on the table. You can just <laughs> smell the butter. Um, in celebration of Canada Day, uh, we've come up with our newest flavor, maple crunch. Which, Iconic uh, flavor this, for Canada. This cookie here, it's my first recipe. Uh, my mother-in-law, Mary, founded our company back in 1981. So we've been making just shortbread for 33 years. Mm. And we have something new this year, which isn't quite a shortbread cookie per se, um, but we make a butterscotch bar. Okay. And Mary, being very frugal, we used to trim the edges, and she didn't want to throw them away. So she started making us all apple pies and apple crumbles. <laughs> and then the staff started putting on some pounds. We could only eat so many of them. <laughs> So last year we started making them into a butterscotch crumb that so you can use for is. baking. Yes, that's what this one is here, and it's in a very um, just like a graham cracker crumb consistency. Right. It's already got the butter and the sugar in it. So what we're here to do today is show you some of the things that you can make with okay. the butterscotch crumb. Um, this here is a, a toffee scorbit chocolate bar mm. with a butterscotch crumb base, and nice. we've got some little ones there in case you're interested to taste them. Oh, <laughs> that's, on the back of the, uh, that's on the back of the that's on the back of the bar bag in terms okay. of making the recipe. And we also have a fruit crumble, which is really, really easy to make. You just put fruit in the bottom of the pan. Whatever kind you like. Whatever kind you like. I've done it with peaches and blueberries. This one here is done with just a mixture of mm. raspberries, blueberries, oh strawberries. You just serve the crumble and you can put ice cream or a dollop of fresh whipped cream on top mm -hmm. and it's just the easiest dessert. 30 minutes, you um, mix everything up, put it in the oven, 30 minutes, you're done. Nice. I thought I would show you something that's really kind of fun right now. It's called an Eaton crumble after the school in England, Eaton. Oh, okay. Um, it's really like a parfait. Okay. So you can take some of your fresh fruit and just layer it up. Okay. So some There's some fresh like fruit. cherries and blackberries in there. Yep, some meringue. You pour some of the custard on top, Ooh. a little thick, and then you go through that again. Another layer. Another layer with the just berries. Bring it close because that juice looks like yep. trouble. <laughs> it is. And then what you do is you just top it off with the butterscotch mm. crumbs, and that is very, very Tuck decadent. It off. And it takes you just seconds to make. Another really quick one that's a little healthy, healthy. <laughs> is, uh, yeah, yeah, you've got to gotta mix it up a little. You take one of the, um, the little angel food cakes, okay. add some Greek yogurt, oh. you know, which is all the trend now, Yes. and then you just sprinkle fresh fruit on top. And nice. you've got a beautiful dessert. And you feel like you're having a treat, I'm but spilling it's actually all my berries. not that bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, of course, you want to top it off with a little bit of a sweet butterscotch nice. crumble. Delish. Yeah, so Delish. lots of fun, easy things you can do. Mm. Um, you can also make a, a cheesecake. Mm. You can use the butterscotch crumbs as a crust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've actually brought some there if you want to try putting them in the pan mm. and showing us how easy it is to kind of pat them in. Oh, into the into here. Yeah, so the, I've okay. opened up a bag for you there. All right. You can just sprinkle them in and pat them down. How they much, sometimes come how out. How far a little will chunky. this go? Uh, one bag will do. No, that's fine. Okay. One bag will give you probably two um, eight-inch cheesecakes. It's okay. about a pound. Okay. Yeah, so that's maybe a little too much, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> better to have more than we less. We like and the they, bottom. You don't need to do anything to them. Just pat them in, and when you bake them, they'll caramelize. Okay. They already so have normally the, you'd have to have some butter chopped, but it's already in. You mix in the butter and the sugar and everything else. It's well, already in there. I'm just going to eat some so. more of my parfait. <laughs> <laughs> and is there a website where people can find out about this? There is uh, www.marymcleod.ca, and right. we have a recipe section with about five or six different recipes. Mm. Uh, we always want to hear from people if you come up with something fun like the. the and yeah. our faith and definitely send us the recipe. We'll All right. That. We're going to take a break now. Thanks so much, Sharon. Thank you. Ahead in sports, the latest on the future side of the Manulife LPGA Classic.